All right, so I just took a rectangle and I used Command T and Warp by right clicking within the transform box after hitting Command T just to soften its edge. These are some of the most complex shapes. Even though they seem simple and they're easy to draw, they're rounded on one side but hard edged on the other. And so then you hit return and then you can go back to simpler command T's like just rotate and scale before you go back to warping. So if the shape ever gets too strange and too overwhelming in all of its twist and turns, you can take your command T steps one at a time. Like so. All right, let's see how we're doing. So now what I can do is look at my little preview image here and compare it and what big things are missing. I have a big thing here that's needed. And duplicate with Command J. Oops. Then Command T to move it. Scale it up. I'm trying to get these kind of negative shapes as well of the blue. They don't need to be exact, but close, reminiscent. All right, and then I got to find the color for it. A little more red. And I can move it up above certain layers. Then I want to move certain layers above it. There we go. And let's see, add a dark triangle in there, but I can add this little shape first. Steal this one, Command J. Command T, just to fill in behind. Squeeze it a little. The layer order matters a lot. And then this shape I can always modify after the fact. That's what's great about treating these as shapes. I can always go back to them and modify. I want to widen its bottom a little bit. Maybe pinch it in on this side a little bit. Flare it out there. A lot of subtlety to these shapes. And then these rectangles within them. So basically squares just on a tilt. And a little bit darker. And then I'm going to duplicate that, Command J, Command T, shrink it into the corner there, and make this a little bit lighter. Just like it is right here. And then I can use transform and just get that nestled in the right place. Now we're getting into little details, somewhat. But first let me do that, the white rectangle. Command T, it's good to customize everything. So 
This one's more like that, but I'm going to pinch it a little bit so I can distort it. I would flare out and touch the corner here, just like it does in the composition. Shorten it up. Maybe use the gray. And then that tells me to kind of shorten this shape up too a little bit. It's looking better. Just on and on. Make these little adjustments. And then I can actually make that a little bit darker. Duplicate it, Command J, transform it a little bit, holding down Shift to lock its proportions, and then make that pure white, or whiter anyway, like that. And then just set it right in. So I still need these shapes on the bottom. So I'll steal from this one, Command J, Command T. Go for the big ones first. Stretch them. And I'm hoping to, to get kind of the rough final shapes in. Remember, I'm not getting hung up on details. I'm trying to simplify with just cut paper solid shapes first. And I'll show you some of the little, little extras we can add to it. I'll duplicate that. Command J, Command T. And I'll duplicate that. Command J, Command T. Which allows me both to stretch it, rotate it, and to move it. Command T is a very handy shortcut. One more copy, Command J, Command T. This time I'm going to flip it horizontally. Move it down a little bit. Like so. And then it shows me I need this little boondoggle there in the brown color. So I'm going to warp it. Bend it in with a little tongue or something. Hit return. Change its color. It's easy to see. And then transform it. Just push and pull it until it fulfills the need. There we go. All right, so now all that remains are little details within these different shapes. So I can steal little things like uh, these rectangles. I'm just going to put them in, transform them just a little bit, customize them just a little bit. Steal a color. Duplicate that, transform it, move it down. Duplicate 
duplicate it again. Let's make it a transform it, make it the bottom of the legs. Rotate them in different ways. As I get more and more specific with my shapes, I need to, I don't need to be as as careful, right? It's more about getting the general size and shape right than the specifics. Now that I have that shape, I can duplicate that, transform it, and use it again over here. And then warp it within, within the blue. So remember that blue is just a background piece of paper. And now behind all of that, I can just put a bigger rectangle that's lighter. <laughs> and I can warp it a little bit to curve the back end. Like so, and then I need to lighten it up. And I can push it back. Let's see how that works. Yeah. And then I can steal that shape, duplicate it, transform it, move it up. Again, lots of repetitions of shapes and compositions we tend to like. And maybe turn it into the gray. That I see here, the kind of purplish gray. like so. Good. And now basically this color, duplicate that, Command J, Command T, bring all that down. And behind it, don't need much at all. And sync it behind. these different features. Yeah, something like that. All right, let's see what major things I'm missing. I think those are the, the big shapes. If I squint at this and this, it all works. I might do a little cutout right here of blue, and then that's going to finish it up.